people coming in at once. Uh, hello, Big Mac. Hello, Rhino. Hello, Dragonite. Hello, Murdoch. I think that's everyone. Hello, Phantom Thief Roxas. You hate ads? Oh yeah, you're one of the few people who are not a subscriber. Hello, Master Shadow. Three days remain? Uh, that depends. Personally, if you ask me, I would estimate... I'd estimate about six days at the rate that I've been going. At the rate I'm going, I'd, I'd, I'd guess six days. Because it's going to be Valerie today. I might get to Widget. Uh, if not, I can do Widget and Willow tomorrow. Then Winnie is going to take an entire day, because there's four outfits I got to do there. Then Zara and Yule, and then Z will just take her own day as well. So that'll be roughly six. Maybe five if I can get Bridget and Willow done in one day. But uh, considering I also got to do dishes today, uh, because I didn't do them yesterday, and it's my turn, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, 720 remain. Hello, Umbris. Oh, Louis, sure. I just realized I should have been saving these, um, these sprite sets to make it easier on me later. Eh, oh well. I'm not too worried.
I saved a few of them, but I didn't save them all now. So if I need to add any more, uh, I'm just gonna make the work oh the harder to make. Whatever. Does not matter. In fairness, it'll a lot of it will just be tracing. It's fine. I can just trace over my own work and it'll be done. Fuck it, who cares? I sure as fuck don't. Oh, just Eva. Uh, yeah, I have. I have definitely been broken down by these sprites. I've been working on these for a month now. <laughs> and I'm almost done. At least with the sprites parts. And then I have to do backgrounds. But the backgrounds... The backgrounds will only be as difficult as backgrounds will be. There's very... There's not nearly as many is what I'm trying to say. You have a question? Okay, Murdoch. Uh, also, Louisa, what video I'm working on? Uh, so, I'm doing a... Uh, a revamp of the story points in... Uh, in my commentaries. So, I've been doing this, this commentary story since, like, 2017. And I was looking back and noticed that the, um... That the styling is very inconsistent. So I am uh, working on making it more consistent by turning it into kind of like a visual novel web series kind of thing. Um, but this required me to draw 3,000 sprites because I have a lot of characters for this series. Am I familiar with Doctor Who? Yes. Um, only up to the mats myth era, though. I uh, passed that I'm not too familiar. <clears throat> I didn't particularly find Matt Smith to be a very in uh, entertaining doctor. I heard the Jodie Whittaker era gets fucking political.
Because the new rider is kind of trash. Oh, yeah, no, uh, I've actually seen how Whitaker acts with the doctor. She seems very quirky, and I like that. It's a very, it's a very quirky doctor. I enjoy that. I, I, I like the way that she acts. But if the writing is bad, then the acting can't really save it. Point is, is I've heard the writing is really bad. <laughs> They interfere with the canon story. I mean, they interfered with the canon story back in, like, uh, from what I've heard, the Matt Smith era. They apparently gave him more regenerations. Which, ugh, way to just drag out the rest of your show. Because that, I guess, is the only thing the BBC has. Shrug. I don't even believe that. I believe that the BBC probably has more... Uh, really good shows, but uh, considering all I ever hear from the BBC is, is Doctor Who, uh, and knowing that they fucking dragged out their, their series, it's like, is that really the only thing that you guys have to the point you want to hold on to it, like, as much as fucking possible? Don't fucking retcon your story that hard, because you just want to make more seasons. Get off! Thank you for the follow, Tomo-chan system. I hope I pronounced that right. Peter Capaldi? Yeah, I heard good things about the Peter Capaldi era. Have I seen the TV movie? Uh, which one? Oh, believe me, it happened in 99 too. I don't remember them retconning the story that fucking hard, though, in in the old era. Because I have seen the old era Doctor Who. Uh, I really enjoyed the... the fourth Doctor. Uh, he's probably my favorite. Followed pretty closely by uh, David Tennant. It's been a very, very long time since I've watched Doctor Who, though, so... But, uh, I really liked Dude with Scarf. I can't remember his name. Was it Tom Baker? I'm having trouble remembering his name. I'm very tired. I didn't go to sleep until, like, 10. <laughs> but, yeah, I like the Tenant era. I think it's Tom Baker is the fourth one that I'm thinking of. Uh, then yeah, I'm probably thinking of Tom Baker then. Yeah, he's my favorite Doctor. Um, there was a lot of really fun, uh, episodes with him in it. I find when it comes to Doctor Who fans, uh, if you watch the old Doctors, Tom Baker's probably your favorite. If you watch the new Doctors, and exclusively the new era, you've, you're probably, your favorite's probably Tennant. That seems to be the common consensus. <laughs> And you know what? Valid. Because <laughs> both of them are really fucking good. Because I, I watched some of the early who... I kind of I kinda dug how, how campy it was. Like, Old Who is definitely campy, and I, I appreciate it. I, I, I think it's a lot of fun. Oh, yes. Best companion, definitely. Robodog, canine. Look at the little dude. I love him. 
Dude. Uh, you guys know how I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, right? Oh, hey, adversary. So, did you guys know that there is a Doctor Who archetype? There is a Doctor Who archetype in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what this is. It's the time time thieves. They're Doctor Who. You've got Bezel Ship, which is the TARDIS. Um You've got uh Regulator, which is K9. Uh Redoer, which is the the Doctor himself. I can't remember what all the others are offhand, but yeah, this is supposed to be a, a, a referential archetype to Doctor Who, and that's kind of it's kinda of cool. I like it. In fact, I have a deck on here uh, that mixes time thieves with um, with zombies, and I call it Super Who Lock. So. <laughs> Mix Doctor Who with zombies. Call it Super Who Lock. What do I mean with the 12th Doctor saying that time can be rewritten, but with extreme precision? I mean... Okay. That sounds like a very Doctor Who thing. I think Joseva's catching on to the joke. I think Joseva's catching on to the joke. I think it's beginning to dawn on her, and I, I appreciate the, the slow realization. Oh, the common Rider Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yeah. Nothing escapes Jaceva. Yeah, no, she... Jaceva found out, right, um, what character I was working on yesterday by just some throwaway tweets that I, I put up. I was, I was working on a character that isn't even released yet, that it hasn't been shown, and Jaceva figured out who I was working on based on some throwaway tweets. <laughs> Nothing gets past Jaceva.
I will say I didn't expect the, the those tweets to get looked at with such scrutiny. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And you are really loud. I am turning you down. Also, hello, Comic Ken. Hello, Susie. Hello, everyone. Am I, uh, do I sound fine now? Uh, I think so. Okay. Did you see that Doug Dimmadome is trending? Why is Doug Dimmadome trending? I have no idea. But apparently it's tr it's trending because of technology? Mm. I don't know. You'd expect that level of research from someone like Aaron? Well, Aaron already knows like most most of the stuff in my lore. He doesn't know everything. Because I refuse to tell him everything. <laughs> Oh yeah, because Twitter removed <laughs> cropping. Oh yes, okay. I understand now. <laughs> but yeah. Aaron is like one of two people who could like accurately make a um, a database of everything in my lore. The only other person who could do it is Pink Robot. And that was not the person I was expecting to look into my lore as, as deep as, as Aaron did. And I know no one else has has looked into um, my lore as much as Aaron and Pink did. Because I keep bringing up a specific, uh, a specific image on my Twitter. And no one has seemed to understood what's hidden within the image. Pink Robot 2? Yes. Pink is the only other person to have looked into my lore and completely, like, deconstructed to a, to a finite level. Um, and, uh, she proved that to me in DMs. Um, so that's fun. This image, it's like this, this, this one little image with just a bunch of, a bunch of, like, random sketches, hasn't, had, like, nobody's, nobody's really looked at this one and, and figured out what's in here. But, uh, so this is why I know not everyone, like, no, no one else, uh, 
no one else has, has bothered to, to do any, like, sort of major digging. <laughs> One of these days, <laughs> says Jaceva. I'm just saying, no one's done it yet. And that tweet is getting harder and harder to find as time goes by. So, all I'm saying is, is, uh, not much time left. Before it just gets completely buried. Besides, if you wait too long, it might just become redundant. <laughs> you were actually trying to find that tweet before your emotions got fucked again? Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry to hear. Well, hopefully things are doing better now for you. Uh, just... I... Hopefully, hopefully you're doing better now. That, that would be the important part. Yo, same, Umbris? I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not alone on that. I saw that fucking little robot dude and I'm like, ah, I see, a Nintendo Switch gamer dude has uh, infiltrated uh, a Nintendo game, finally. I'm just gonna be playing as him the entire time thinking, oh, uh, Nintendo's, uh, Nintendo's online isn't bad, people should just get a better router. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> or, oh, don't do redundant critiques! God, I'm so glad I'm not the only one, though. I'm glad I'm not going crazy. I'm glad it wasn't the three hours just driving me, or three hour video just driving me absolutely batty. Dude, I still don't get why Blaze made that server. Well, I understand the why. But I don't get how he didn't sit there and think to himself that that is a terrible idea.
from what I've heard, that that server has been nothing but trouble. Not helped by the fact that uh, Joshua, who is has apparently been very argumentative recently, um, and Halo fan, uh, someone who has been willing to send uh, blackface in chats and uh, send dick pics to minors and uh, child porn in people's comment sections. You know? Considering but they're both in there and are free to just kind of be there to start whatever problems. Apparently Blaze also does not give a shit if people argue and fight or if drama happens in there because he's totally okay with it. Blaze's server is a fucking mistake! <laughs> I'm sorry to I'm I'm sorry to say it like so brashly, but like I understand the sentiment. It's like, oh, you know, it's it's really hard to see this community as a community when there are people who are kinda outcasted. I get that. And you know what? I, I respect the the attempt to want to get people closer together. I get it. I get it. But also you're basically just running CC Blood Sports 2. Because not everyone in the community gets along. Not everyone in the community likes each other. We are maybe not like the biggest community, but we are still a community of a, a, a number of people. Some are just not gonna get along. We're talking about Blaze the Movie Fan Murdoch. I remember when he said he was tired of people being nice and wanted us to argue. Argue? Jesus fucking Christ, Blaze. Is Blaze too open-minded? Blaze is naive. Blaze is very, very na naive. Like, I don't think Blaze really understands the community that he is a part of. Um... And has been a part of since 2011? I don't think he really understands. Like, yes, we do commentaries, we do argue with each other, we do crit criticize each other a lot. But there is still a level of, like, civility and understanding between all of us. One of the biggest issues with the server, there are only two rules. Yeah, I heard about that. And apparently both are incredibly vague. Literally when Blaze was telling me about his server, I told him that he shouldn't do it because it is a mistake. And ever since then, he's been rubbing it in with how well his server is doing. Uh, and I'm just sitting here like, dude, not from what I've been hearing. Everything, every new thing I hear about that server just makes me realize how right I was. That server doesn't need an overhaul. That server needs to die. It is a drama machine waiting to happen. And Blaze is totally okay with it. It's like, I didn't know Blaze the movie fan was going to be our next uh, Dylan Thomas. But uh, I guess here we are. Have you guys ever confronted him about it? I straight up told him it was a bad idea from the get-go. But I'm not in his server, so I don't think he'll want to hear it from me. Because I'm not in his server. I don't... I don't join public servers like that. 
I've just been hearing everything, like, third party, and everything that I hear is... It just keeps proving me more and more right. Discord's not really, like, a, a, a place that can handle a server with an entire community in one place. You know? We're, we're not... Like, okay. If there's anything I can take from the brony community... I, I wanna, I wanna, like, emphasize this. If there's anything I can take from the brony community... It's a place like the Rift isn't a place like the Rift is inherently going to be a problem just on the basis of um everyone is in one place at one time all at once. It's like if you were going to do something like uh like a a, a Rift cafe right? You'd probably want to do it more like the Chaos Theater of, uh, of the count Countdown community. For those who don't know, the Chaos Theater was a, uh, a forum where a bunch of people who made countdowns could conglomerate and sh share their stuff and talk about their stuff and discuss things and, you know, talk about video games and what have you. It was a community forum. That is a much better place to have an entire community conglomerate into one spot to be more inclusive. However, there were still problems with it. One of the biggest issues with uh, the one of the like the the one of the things that killed the chaos theater. Um, the uh, one of the issues with the chaos theater that that wound up killing it was that only really the big names would get any attention while the smaller names just kind of got shafted. This is going to happen regardless of the community you're in, regardless of if it's the CC or, you know, the the, the uh, countdown community or the brony community or anything like that. doesn't matter what community you're in, bigger names are just going to get more attention. There's a reason they're bigger names. Um, so there's not any way you can get around that. Second issue. Um, it was... And I, I really hate wording it like this because it sounds way too gatekeepy. Um, but I, I promise you I'm not. Um, but when you, when it comes to a public platform like that, literally anyone can join. And again, that sounds very gatekeepy, um, but hear me out. So, we've got a lot of people who look at our community as a problem. Even though there are other commentary communities that they're totally cool with and will follow and will be fine with, people look at specifically our community as problematic. Couldn't tell you why, but, um... You know, you have people like Sherman, who would go out of his way to go on the forums and, like, dox people because they're commentators. You'd have individuals who would try to, like, hack onto the forum to get other people banned or to, to abuse those systems or to get people's private information and shit like that. Um, you'd be able to, uh, I mean, since it's such a, a conglomeration, you'd be able to find people a lot quicker, too. So, um, no, th that's not, it's, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? When as many people, when as, as many people, look at our community as this 
this problem-ridden, toxic pit of the internet. Um, obviously, if we conglomerate like that in a forum, uh, people will ha take people will take that opportunity to fuck with us. And it's not going to be in a way that I think people are going to really appreciate. Actually, no one would appreciate it. Because um, the way that people would fuck with us uh, would be very dangerous to them. That's why, yeah, exactly. It's why a majority of, of, of uh, commentary community members' discords are private. Because we know that if anyone, just anyone can get in, um, that's not a good thing. And it sounds gatekeepy, and I don't, I, I, I want to make it clear, if you're thinking about getting into this community, just do it, you know, uh, just, you know, make, start making commentaries, you know, can, uh, try to get involved with more of the, the, the members of the, the community and stuff like that, reach out to people, talk with them, you know, I want to make that abundantly clear, I'm not gatekeeping this community. But, if we are to look at this from a logical standpoint, just having it to where any, oh, any old schmo could just sign up to a forum or enter a Discord server and call themselves a part of this community while also being fucking toxic about it, um, or doing it so they could specifically get into these, uh, these areas so they can, like, dox or harass other members or, um, fucking send child porn in their fucking comments. Um, it's not good. You literally can't have an area like this anymore because, um, you, like, you, you can't have an area like this anymore because the internet is so much, I'm gonna be honest, it's so much worse than it was, like, fucking eight years ago. Yeah, public server, or public discords, public forums and shit like that, they're all fucking drama magnets. It's not fun. Not everyone gets along. It, it just happens. And if enough people do not get along with an individual, or um, that individual, you know, is, I guess, too out there, yeah, and unfortunately, they, people are bound to get lost in the fray. That is unfortunate, but it is how communities like this work. There is no, there is literally nothing you can do about it without honestly tearing the community apart more than helping it come together. And I don't think Blaze understands that. So having that having that community discord is a mistake. It is not good. It is not a smart idea. It was irrational. It was not well thought out. It was uh It was ir it's irresponsible. It's really what it is. So yeah, I don't like Blaze's Discord. <laughs> I think it's a mistake. I think it's probably one of the dumbest things he could have done. Don't really support it. That's why I'm not in there, despite there apparently being a doodle in there. But like, I'm 90% sure it's just Sylveon.
You actually looked at that doodle person, doesn't seem to be Sylveon. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Just having someone in there called Doodle, it's like, I'm... Call me paranoid, but it's... I'm like 90% sure it's Sylveon. If it's not Sylveon, if it's just someone called Doodle, then oh well, but... Considering recent events, you know... You witness heresy? What kind of heresy? So I actually prefer sushi to pizza? Hmm. Okay. And? Rainbow, I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I don't care. I I know you have this problem with the with the commentary community. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that you can't. I will say it's kind of a little misguided, but uh, I don't know, man. Creating creating a parody or light trolling commentary alt channel, it's like I'm gonna be honest, I don't care. Trolling a commentary community is kind of, I don't know, worthless? It's like, oh, you act- I, I think Ponder put it best. Oh, you acted like an idiot to a group of people who go out of their way to look for idiots. You want a cookie? I don't know. I'm gonna have to be as blunt as possible. I'm just not interested. But, you know, good luck on your other stuff. You know, your bigger projects.
to need to take out my garbage soon. I just finished. I just finished my breakfast. There was some leftover pizza from last night. Anyway, back to drawing. Well, yeah, joke accounts. Joke accounts that are there to joke is one thing. But to, like, actively try to troll to get people, uh, get people, like, riled up. It's like, at that point, it's, <laughs> it's kind of redundant. Do they have Pop-Tarts out with? Of course they do. I've had Pop-Tarts on stream before. Pretty sure they have pop tarts over the oh like overseas too. But yeah, no, um Yeah, it's, it's just you know the Popo Cancer and Pickle are like the 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 they're like the the three remainders of, of that era. They're just there to make joke videos. They're not there to actually try to rile anyone up. That's why, uh, that's why Cancer sticks to mm, mostly commentators. I said mostly commentators because there's still the drama alert video, which is still, in my opinion, Cancer's best video. Why am I thinking that 2021 is going to be 2017 again? It kind of is. Maybe this is a personal preference. Or not personal preference, but personal uh, perspective. It very much is. I'm dealing with the exact same shit that I had to deal with in 2017. Again. The only difference is, is the entire community doesn't hate me this time. So. At least they don't, you know, hate me yet. I guess give it time. I am working, or I am high-key working on a video about the George Raccoon situation from 2019, so I guess give it time. Hello. Oh, hey, Nezzy. Hello, Nezzy. Soup. <clears throat> I'm funkin' on a nearly Friday. Hmm. Is Drunk Nezzy back? I don't know, Rainbow. No, I'm just He's tired. He's tired. Yeah. But I figured.
Hello, Rickania. Am I actually making a video? Yes, I am, Master Shadow. I mean, I've been able to convince enough people. I might as well. I'm so sad that the Tank Man boss, Tank Man Week, is not going to be a part of the official game because uh, it's so good. Is it not? No, it's all it's Newgrounds exclusive. No, it. Well, hold on, that's not what it says on the itch.io page. Really? It says it's a uh, what is it? It it says timed exclusive. Yeah. It's not going to be a part of your actual full game. Which sucks, well, because Ah uh, is such a good song. No, 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 no. I think you guys understand. Timed exclusive. Timed exclusive means when, like, the release of the game comes out, it might still be there. It's just at uh, the okay. moment, at the current moment, it is exclusive to Newgrounds. So I you can't get uh you can't get it on like itch.io right now. But when the full game comes out, maybe. It'll it'll probably still be there. Also I do agree I really Ugg hope. is really good. Ugg is Ugg is my favorite song in the, the game, so if it's not in the official game, I'm gonna be so mad because it's really good. It weirdly helped me when I was writing my like five page essay. <laughs> Have you heard the, uh, the modded version? No. Okay. So, um, there is a mod out there called the Sky Mod, which, uh, is a bit of a controversial mod for good reason. Um, but, uh, that, there's a, there's a version of the Sky Mod that has the, has Sky do, uh, UG, and it's, it's also really fucking good. They've shown Tank Man in the Kickstarter trailer. Wouldn't make much sense to take it out. That would make, yeah. Oh, okay. If they put them in the, if they put them in the, the Kickstarter trailer. Yeah. Okay, because I saw that it was ex exclusive to Newgrounds, and I got, I got worried. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm gonna. Why did the modder make Sky underage? The original creator made her 18 plus. Did the modder make her underage? I don't even know who Sky is. <laughs> so, okay. So, as I said, Sky is a modded uh, Friday Night Funkin' character um, that originally came from. An, an obsessive, an, an obsessive kind of fan, you know, one of those, uh, one of those kind of fan accounts that goes, or, or that, like, I guess tries to, uh, date a character. In this particular instance, you know, Sky is someone who, uh, wants, you know, ships herself with, uh, with boyfriend. Um, so, someone made a, uh, a mod about Sky, and, uh, I guess there was a point in time where people were making NSFW of Sky, but the problem is, is that the original creator of Sky, um, who, you know, made the self-insert, was underage, but I think the story goes that 
Sky the character is supposed to be over 18. So I don't know, it's just kind of a weird... It's a, it's a weird misunderstanding that has created a lot of controversy surrounding the character, and because of that, um, the Friday Night Funkin', like, modding community doesn't really acknowledge her as uh, a mod on the, the, their little wiki. Which makes sense, but... The modder thought Sky was 12, but the creator confirmed that she's 18 or 19. Oh, okay. I have no idea anymore, man. <laughs> All I know is that I like Funkin' on a Friday. On that note, uh, I'm just gonna casually put on... Sky sings Ugg in the background. Taking a while to get started, Jesus. Mad Father got a massive update, by the way. Hmm? Including more story. But I have to play it again. <laughs> Which means... Passing that fucking doll! <laughs> again. Wait, I'm confused. Does Lemon Guy appear in week two? Uh, he was supposed to, and I think they've made it to where he does. I don't know. He was supposed to, I think, though, for sure. Okay, because it's been a while since I've played week two. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. His songs are very... Okay. I'm not too big of a fan of him. I kind of like horror land, the 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 winter horror land. I can't wait when the competitive stuff comes out. Is this a better version? In an oh, accident, hello. The highway accent thing. I don't give a shit. Yeah. So I'm gonna just copy that and throw it at Nezzy. Throw it at your face. What are you, what are you throwing at me? Don't throw things at me. I threw it at your no. face. Not after the shit you pulled fucking yesterday with the cow. <laughs> you ass. He slides. He slides. It's fucking four in the morning. I don't need to see that shit. <laughs> he slides. I don't. I will actually vomit on this call. <laughs> if you bring What's that shit up again. No. About a... No. <laughs> no. No. But I want to know. No. What's about a <laughs> cow? No. I need to know. 
Anything with doodle, you don't really necessarily need to know. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> Every time I end up in one of your streams, it just it devolves into me saying no. <laughs> Okay, oh, then that, that <clears throat> chick! I've seen that floating around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, but okay. One question though: This sliding cow. Did they really? Did oh they really? Do they really move? No. <laughs> Well, I mean, they're a sliding cow, so I imagine they must move. No. Yeah, I'll send it to Comic Ken. <laughs> Since he seems to be so interested. <laughs> Don't say it anymore, <laughs> you. No one ever listens to me. Same goes for the chat, so I'll go ahead and... There you go. Oh yeah, by the way, you remember when everybody was pissing themselves over the Kickstarter stretch goals? Yeah. They've met what all of the... them, didn't they? Huh? They've met all of them, didn't they? What do you mean? Oh, all you mean the stretch goal? I thought you meant they met all the people. I was like, what the- No. They didn't meet anybody. They met all the- No, they met all the stretch goals. Yeah, they're like at two million. Everyone saw but, the cow. But one of the one of the arguments was that um like the mobile port is like, oh there's already mobile ports and they're so good. And my fr uh, a friend and I who is working on a video, um, we went and played some of them and holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> there was only one, and it semi-functioned. Oh, wonderful. Actually, no. There was technically two, but the other one wasn't even, like, playing the game. Also, one of them was a... F I'm not... I'm not gonna spoil it, because it's really fucking funny. <laughs> but holy shit. Also, they were littered with ads, and most of it was, like, stolen art. So not only is it not going to the people that actually made the project, so people are basically supporting stealing of an independent creator. So, yeah, fuck you. Uh, by the way, so I saw the cow, and um, all I can say is, holy cow. Someday I'm going to murder everybody in this chat who makes puns. <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle the uh, punishment. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> You're going at the top of the hit list now, bitch. <laughs> Good! <laughs> Alright, now you're going at the bottom. <laughs> it's, like... it's like you're going at the top of the hit list. Good! You forget that I want to die. <laughs> now you're going at the bottom. Just for being an ass. <laughs> It's like that one fucking cyanide and happiness short, um, 
<laughs> the fucking I got I got Death Express. <laughs> Dude gets fucking hit with like the Amazon truck. <laughs> Like, the cow is like, it was strange, but it was also utterly fascinating. I will actually block you on everything, Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> probably gonna have to i'm gonna milk i'm gonna milk this i'm gonna milk this thing for all it's worth don't make me fucking block you on twitter right now <laughs> i will actually do it <laughs> there's only so much i can take at fucking 11 p.m at night as opposed to 11 p.m in the morning yes because in comparison, I actually have a semblance of giving a shit. No, I don't think you understand. 11 p.m. in the morning. Yes, exactly. Just like February okay. 30th in Gregory Horror Show. Alright, fair enough. By the way, I listened to a little bit of the Sky's version of it, and I actually didn't like it. No? It's a bit too high-pitched for me, and it kind of hurt my ears. Mm. It's just the pitch. I don't know why, it was like at a frequency that my ears didn't like. You gotta remember, dude, I got sensitive ears. I mean, so did I, but... Mine's more volume than, I guess, pitch. Uh, mine's a weird combination of both. Voice tank man. I don't know. I still can't get the story mode to work on my end. What do you mean? So on um on Newgrounds, uh on the Newgrounds version, the story mode for uh week seven didn't work for me. So I I, I can only play it during I can only play it through free play. Which sucks, because I hear the story is really, really fun. Eh? Eh? I wouldn't really call it a story. It's just, he's the only character that has, like, dialogue other than Senpai. I'm just saying, I, I would really like to play it regardless. But I, I don't can't know why it's story. not working on I your end. I can only play it in free play. And worse yet, I can only play the free play songs in easy mode. For whatever reason, normal and hard mode don't want to load for me. So it's it's great. It's it's wonderful. Love it. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think my internet is even stable enough to handle normal mode. I don't 
know why Newgrounds is like 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 just ever so slightly lagging. So when all of the arrows come up, it's fucking insane. That's why I think they need to put week seven up on itch, but they won't. <laughs> so I'll just have to wait for the like actual game to come out. <laughs> you blame the five year olds invading new grounds, just. <laughs> God. You're probably right, though. I'm also hearing make... that new gr I'm also hearing that Newgrounds is getting like uh, a bunch of traffic for uh, what is it, a Super Mario Bros Z thing or whatever, like some series that Avi and Sarah and the rest of them have been talking about. Never heard of it. I only know of it a little bit, like, by name. I don't when really the whole... know, know what goes on. By the way, when the whole game comes out, what if we made a Cloud Palace mod? <laughs> I mean... If you'd, if you'd know who would be who, go for it. I have a feeling Zenny would be Tank Man. <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously that depends on, like, who else they're adding, because they are adding, like, how many weeks? <laughs> uh, now they're adding up to ten. With, it was Something also like... each one having an erect difficulty mode. Oh, and also, an old... you also gotta count the fact that they're remixing all of the songs, too. Which was a very interesting email to get as a notification from the Kickstarter that something something kawaii sprite uh, was now crying themselves in the bathroom and one of them shit on the stairs. <laughs> I don't remember quite what it said, but it was something along those lines. It was a very I interesting heard about email that, to get. Actually. Yeah, it was I a very interesting that. email to get at like three in the morning. <laughs> it's like, ha ha, kawaii sprites acting like a pussy and they're crying in the bathroom. By the way, I shit on the stairs. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but all I know is that I read something along those lines at like 3 in the fucking morning. Ninja Muffin and Kawaii Sprite deactivated their Twitters? Did they? Oh, yeah. Yep. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Kawaii Sprite went online as like, what even? And then Ninja Muffin's like, fuck it, let's let's do it. And then they both deactivated. I think one <laughs> oh, more... <it's> a... <laughs> one, of the, one of them was Phantom Heart? Because another person also deactivated. They kind of just went online as like, fuck it, let's do it. And then Ninja Muffin's like, fuck it, hell yeah. And then they both did it. No, Murdoch, I don't think Nezzy is reading chat. Nezzy is playing Friday Night Funkin'. Uh, Big Mac asks, can you ask Nezzy if they're planning to stream the new Pokemon Snap? There's like about five other questions, but I don't, I don't want to fucking scroll up. <laughs> I don't know, I'd consider I never played the original Pokemon Snap. You should. It's a very, it's a very chill game. It do be a vibe game. I'm looking forward to playing Metopia with all the shit people have been doing with it. Fucking Nani ended up in an article because of her clip of 
Sans being like the mom character and her, the son being replaced with a Fortnite $14.99 card. Set. Oh, damn. Uh, Xena's been going nuts putting all the Cookie Run characters in. A lot of people put uh, various JoJo characters. Like, the amount of detail that they're getting away with in the game is crazy. Which makes me very interested to think about putting, like, uh, cause I said that when I play it, I'm going to put all of the- all of my friends in it as, like, a joke. Which means that I could straight up put Zenny's OC in there. I could also put Sam and Max. Mm -hmm. I remember in my original game, I ran out of Mii's to use. So, I ended up using, like, a bunch of Sonic characters. Like, my Lord of Darkness was Dr. Eggman. And then I got lazy at the end of the game, and I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna make it Jack Skellington now. Because I just- I did not feel like trying. I just wanted to, like, finish. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, I'm fuck. I have to wait four more minutes and then I can unlock the, 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 the Friday night, funk on a Friday night real time achievement. Nevi, I think you got a problem. What do you mean? Am I funking too hard <laughs> on a Friday? Probably. Am I funking much too hard on a Friday? You can't stop me, Doodle. I have unlocked the um the power of Funkin' on a Friday. <laughs> on oh, this Chet specific consecutive very... day. Chat says you have a very cute sneeze. Anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean it's true though. I will shank you. He sent me a fucking meme. <laughs> and I hated it. It was a TikTok of like this lady speaking in Japanese, and she was like very high pitched. She sounded very cute, and she's like, "Hold on, I got a, I got a, I got a phone call." And then she goes, "Hello." <laughs> Just, like she sent it to me and went, "Is this you?" And I'm like, "God, fucking damn it." I'm very angry. I'm not a happy boy. <laughs> I feel very called out. It's not my fault, okay? It's not my fault. My voice changes depending on the language. Nessie here is like, uh, no, talk to me. I'm angry. I will strangle you. <laughs> Nezian subs, Nezian dubs. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the the Nezi the Nezi the Nezi monster j uh Japanese dub, the Nezi monster <laughs> English dub. The voice changes between dubs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about that. <laughs> One of these days, Nizzy is going to actually kill me. <laughs> I 
And I'll only have myself to blame. If you'd have been there, you'd have seen it. <laughs> I think you would have done the same. God. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm f I use a different part of my throat to talk. And when you talk with your throat, you sound higher. Not in that way. <clears throat> so, Nancy, did you see Doug Dimodome was trending? Why is Doug Dimodome trending? Because they got rid of uh, Twitter cropping. What? What is? The, how do? What? What? The what hat. are those? Oh. Ah. <laughs> mm. uh. I totally oh, forgot about that. That ancient meme. Oh wait, did you see what I posted in no mic? No, because I'm doing something. <laughs> Rainbow says Doodle and Nezzy meet at a convention and Nezzy is holding a knife. Doodle thinks it's cosplay, but oh boy, is she gonna find out how shot wrong she is the hard way. <laughs> I'm gonna dress up as hell chef. <laughs> oh, the expression on the right now is uh Susie when when she finds out Nezzy has the uh, as a knife, she's like, eh -eh. So what do you got there? A knife! Oh no! <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm not gonna be that mean. I would use a katana. More honorable that way. Oh please, I have no honor. Bitch, that don't mean that I don't! <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what is that one fucking meme? I'm trying to think of what it was. Where it's like, assassins technically take commissions. Oh yeah, they do. That is very true. You know, everybody shits on Tumblr, but Tumblr actually has its... I would argue that it's better than Twitter. <laughs> <coughs> that's because all, all the problematic people on uh, Tumblr moved to Twitter. I only slightly believe you. I'm just well, gonna be once perfectly Tumblr... honest. I mean, that's not that. It's the fact that most of the time whenever somebody gets exposed, it's Twitter screenshots. Well, yes, but that's because of, you know, as I said, the people who were on Tumblr. Because at the time, right, when, when Tumblr well, no, still had... Or, no, the screenshots usually date way back to 2010. Well, no, because, like, okay, so basically what, it ha uh, what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, right, so on, um... On Tumblr, right? It used to be like people would, um, I guess, be in like their own little boxes, like their own little fandoms, and they didn't really cross over very often, if that, if at all. Um, with Twitter, you basically take those boxes and uh, that that Tumblr had established and put them all into one big pool, and. When you get all of those into- it, it, This is literally what I was talking about earlier in the stream. When you get as many people in one place, uh, not everyone is going to like everyone, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, the people who were on Tumblr, who probably would have exposed 
Uh, the, the, what have, okay, the kind of individuals that expose people on Twitter. Um, would have initially been in like a, a fandom box on Tumblr because it used to be that Tumblr would be the place where people would call out like problematic people. Tumblr Google. bans porn. Twi Google. Like those those same individuals. It makes sense in my head. I'm trying to put it into words because I'm having a hard I'm having a hard time putting it into words. But basically, no, I under I, un I understand. It's just the fact that. I always find it funny when we start talking about, like, internet history, considering the fact that I wasn't allowed online until I was a little older. And even then, I was very constricted to what I was allowed to, like, be on. I didn't even make a- I didn't make a Twitter until I was, like, 19. Oh. I wouldn't make- I didn't make a Tumblr until I was maybe, like, 16? I think the closest thing I was on was DeviantArt, but even then I would just post something and then I would leave. Mm. I think the only thing that I actually got into was maybe YouTube. And even then I wasn't really allowed to do much of anything until I was at least 14. I see. Yeah, I'm trying to put it into words. Basically, yeah, Tumblr was how Twitter is. I say a lot of the problematic people moved from Tumblr to Twitter because that is kind of what happened. Sure, there were definitely people on Twitter who were like how they are now or how Twitter is now. Those people definitely existed back then too, but it was more prevalent on Tumblr. Now that they're moved over to Twitter, Twitter has now become the cesspool that has mixed two types of individuals that just don't get along. I mean, it's no different from most sites. I guess the only thing with, like, Twitter is that it has reestablished why I don't like politics. God, yeah. I mean, my, my primary issue when it comes to politics is that it's treated like a fucking football match. And also, whenever one side complains about the other, they just do the same thing like it's it's funny and sad at the same time i remember i wanted to make like my first political joke when i was like 15 I, I got really, like, into politics when I was about that age, too. Well, I wasn't into politics. I just... Well, well I kind of was. Part of it was probably because I was in AP government. But, like, the joke was... The joke was something along the lines of, like... You're a racist! <laughs> You're a fucking Republican racist! And the other one was like, you're a democratic faggot. And then someone's in the middle going like, I'm a moderate. And then they both beat the shit out of the moderate. Yeah, that's typically how that works. <laughs> I don't know why that was... Also, I'm sorry I said the, the F word. I know that some people are uncomfortable by that word. Well, Donnie can... is affecting me. <laughs> No, I was- I was gonna come to the defense and say, Oh, you're talking about a joke you were making when you were 15. Quoting people who say problematic things is not- Or should not be problematic. Thing. Shouldn't be problematic, but, you know, whatever. Especially considering the fact that we read, um, Huckleberry Finn and- Literature class. When Man, it comes to I still words, remember. Well, well, big oh, sorry, says, when it comes to words, context matters. Yes, but unfortunately, that's not really the case anymore. 
Which sucks. Mm -hmm. I hate it actually a lot. I think the thing that frustrates me the most is when people call out like a person for, for saying a song. Like saying a song lyric. Because a part of me is like, well, when you're getting into a song, you're getting into the rhythm, there's like an aspect of reflex. Like you can't get mad. You can't get mad at somebody who bonks... <coughs> Who kicks you because you bonked on their kneecap. <clears throat> well, it's also, do you realize how hard it is to, like, self-censor in the middle of singing a song? It's actually a lot harder than you would think. I still remember when my friend told me a story about how someone was accusing her of, of being homophobic. She was, um... She was talking about... <clears throat> she was talking about a fag. And somebody said, hey, you can't say that word. And she says, I am referring to a cigarette. And second, I am bi. <laughs> With a girlfriend. Because the thing is, is that people... <sighs> People forget that words have meaning. It's like when people were trying to, to fucking censor the Spanish word for black because it looks like the N-word. But nobody bothered to ask the fact that it's part of the fucking language. It was, it was like somebody getting pissed off at like a box of crowns. I remember when... When uh, Twitter got mad at the uh, quote unquote arsler, um, when it was being used in a situation where it wasn't ableist. I mean, the funny thing is the fact that my dad doesn't mind the word. Primarily because it does mean slow, it means slow. It's just been changed to mean something else, which is just the evolution of language. It's kind of like how, um... Like the word... I, I don't want to, like, accident. I don't want to accidentally piss anybody off, but the word Spurg. Like, there's a character named Spurg in Billy and Mandy. Before that word had its meaning now. And I'm like, I feel so bad for the fact that like, that happened. I mean, it's the same thing with, like, the word trap. I can understand why people would be offended by that word. And if you don't want me to say it, I won't, I won't say it. But I also know people that don't mind it. Hi. I'm right here. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> referring to only you. But, yeah. It's just like, it reminds I, me of when people... Regardless, I'm right here. <laughs> I mean, it's like when people were calling my friend transphobic. Not knowing that they were talking to a trans woman. <laughs> and then they, like, accused her of being a poser or some shit, but... I mean, two years is a very long time to go with a joke, I guess, if that's what your accusation is. I'm three years on HRT, I would love to watch someone- Actually, someone has called me uh, a trans trender before. <laughs> a trans trender? Yes. That is a thing that exists? That's a word? Well, uh, okay, it's a word. Whether or not it exists is up for debate. Some people say it does, some people say it doesn't. You can say. But, uh, um, uh, basically, what it is is it's, ba uh, is it's, you know, someone who comes out as trans for attention. Okay, that's, I understand that's, that part. That's that's the general idea of it. Uh, okay. I was called a trans trender uh, at one point. Uh, I don't exactly remember. Oh, right, because there was a point in time when it, while while I was still coming out, I had used they them pronoun uh, pronouns on like a, an account that I no longer use. <laughs> um, because I was unsure at the time, because I was still coming yeah. out. Well, now I, I go by like she, her pronouns, but, but I like, don't like I, that do that. regardless, I, I was called a transgender, uh, on, on DeviantArt, and I'm just like, first of all, 
<laughs> I came out way before, quote unquote, it was cool. Um, I came out when I was 15 in like 2012, 2011. When, when I. Good job. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me try to get the right time frame here. By the way, so I want to be clear, when I say that I don't like when people do that is when they act like that people's identity cannot change over time. Especially when you came out when you were fucking 15 of all things. Yeah, I, I came out when I was when I was still in public high school. The Like, the last year I came out as trans. And mm. then I took myself out because... Yeah. Anyway. um, <laughs> So, actually, this part of the reason I picked up homeschool was because I had came out as trans that year. I want to put that into perspective. I literally took myself out of school because I believed that I, or like, put, took myself out of public school because I believed I was trans. You know, so many years later I was right, but at the time, that's what I was dealing with. Mm. Um... And then comes three years of stress because public homeschool, or no, no, not, or sorry, homeschool high school or online school is a fucking terrible invention. And I feel so bad for anyone who had to go through that during COVID. Mm. I, I don't like online school mm. at all. Um, yeah. If people want to talk about how accepting <laughs> the LGBT community is. <laughs> But, uh, like, it's don't like... get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Every community has its problems, but like, can we like not ignore the fact that the community in and of itself is also kind of fucked? Yeah. But uh. It's just... <laughs> but yeah, I. I... But in, in in any case, um. So I went. I went the fuck off. In in those in those DMs, uh, let me go into my notes. I think I remember what you're talking about. Um, were you around for that? I don't know if you were or not. No, you were talking about it later on down the line because the person came back. Um... Oh, yeah, I found it. So yeah, they, they came to me and was just like, uh... So, I'm sure you saw my comment on YouTube. Now I can certainly see why you won't show your face or voice. They, them was the giveaway. You're not going to get SRS, are you? Oh, Much less are you diagnosed this. with gender dysphoria. I was diagnosed way back when it was called GID. I also doubt you're on actual HRT, or hence why you say it's not working. I'm an MTF transsexual, and you're a trender, hence why you came out during the time when it was deemed popular. See, the difference between you and me is that I am being true to my heart, accepting both good and evil in me, embracing my super ego, my ego, and my shadow. So, Sean Hambry, this will be my last interjection with you. Signed, Lizzie. And I was just like, okay. First of all, bitch. <laughs> Wait. You can actually I feel like I remember that. that comment. Didn't I respond I remember, to someone? I remember that comment. You, because uh, I think that person came back at one point and was like coming after Ponder. I Something see. along those uh, lines. I don't. I don't remember. All I remember is that I remember seeing that screenshot because you were mentioning it again in one of the calls I was in with you. I, I don't remember, but... I remember it very, very well, because the moment you read it, I could visually see it. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, my, my response was, I bitch, okay, you baited a response out of me. Quote, so I'm sure you saw my comment on YouTube. I did, and introducing your comment by effectively demanding that I do a face reveal isn't going to get me to want to do so. I don't particularly like how I look, so I don't post myself anywhere else, because I do not want to. Quote, now I can definitely see why you won't show your face or voice. I reveal my voice way more often than you would think. 
Hell, I did. Oh, you were uh, you were around at the time that I, I posted this because I was like, hell, I did so on a stream. Nezzy Monster did just last Saturday, and probably will do so again this Saturday. Uh, quote, they them was the giveaway. I'm not even sure where I go by they them anymore because uh, I did so when I was first coming out because I was still questioning if I was coming out like I did at 15. It was a good idea. Mind you, I spent like five or six years questioning if I came out too early. This was kind of a big deal to me. Quote, you're not going to get SRS, are you? I would love to. That's kind of the goal. Of course, it's going to be expensive and I come from a rather poor household, so I don't exactly know when that will be possible, but definitely want to uh, shoot for gender reassignment surgery at some point. Much less are you diagnosed with gender dysphoria. Well, yeah, you don't typically get diagnosed with gender dysphoria. It's way more often that you have it and get uh, and get started on transitioning, which was weird to me because I too thought you had to get someone to get di or you had to go to someone to get diagnosed. Quote: I was diagnosed back when it was called GID. Also, I doubt you're on actual HRT since you say it's not working. See, now I don't have to prove anything to you, but considering how adamant you are about being a thorn in my side about it. And then I posted, like, two, two screenshots, and I'm like, here's what I'm taking, and here's my after-visit sheet for my first trip. My next follow-up should be in May, thank you for asking. Oh, this was right before COVID. <laughs> that would explain it. Mm-hmm. Second, second of all, your doctor should have told you this, but HRT works differently for different people. If it's working better for you, great! Fantastic! Congrats! The most it's done for me is emotional instability and a small amount of fat on my chest that can barely be called breast tissue. Otherwise, it's been slow. I haven't taken notice of anything outside of that. That's just how it's been working for me. Uh, quote, I'm an MTF transsexual and you're a trender. Can I get gatekeeping for 300, Alex? Quote, hints why you came out during the time it was deemed popular. Oh, honey, 2012 was not the popular time. Don't even lie to me. Fuck, this isn't even private information you would have to have found, uh, you would have to have found by asking me. Quote, see, the difference between you and me is that I'm being true to my heart, accepting both good and evil in me, embracing my super ego, my ego, and my shadow. This has nothing to do with being trans. This has everything to do with self-esteem, which I've shown publicly time and time again. I have a low amount of. I don't know what your point is. And it's like, uh... So, so Sean Hembry, this will be my last interaction with you. Sign Lizzie. And I'm like, bye, bitch. Also, it's Hembry. Next time you want to dead name me, best you do it right, okay? <laughs> Who must be this? I, just, I don't, this was it's someone that I, one person that would call that was calling her a trans trender. Back in, like, mm. March. <laughs> yeah, it, I remember very this funny. conversation. This is a very long time ago, but I do somewhat remember it. I think the thing that pisses me off is when people, like, as somebody who is currently working on a bachelor's in psychology, people that still fucking tote the mentality of, oh, I'm not experiencing the same thing, therefore you don't have it, you can actually shove that up your ass. I literally saw this with people that were trying to diagnose my friends. Like, oh, you don't have this disorder because my friend has it and she doesn't act the way that you do. You can actually, like, fuck off. So, uh, this, uh, it, this person's name was Lizzie that said this? I don't remember what their username was. I don't care to remember what their username was. Um, their DA is fucking gone now. Um, and, uh, bye, bitch. <laughs> Actually, because... so you want to know something funny? What? You remember that long time ago when somebody came onto my DA and asked me if I did free art and got pissy with me? Mm-hmm. Their account's gone. Funny. <laughs> that was... I went back and I'm like, I'm curious, what is this person doing now? This account is no longer available. Well, okay then. Like, because if the person that said this to Susie is who I think it is, I believe I responded to them once before. Perhaps. I I just don't remember what their username was. I don't really care to remember what their username was because uh, they're fucking gone now and uh, I had them blocked anyway. Because, like, um, if it's who I think it is, they actually responded back to me and I was like, um... Their exact comment back to me was, um, at Common Coon, this, com this comment wasn't for you, it's for Susan. I want to hear what she has to say. I want her to reveal her true self. Back off, boy. Oh, I do remember that comment. Yes, that is the same person. Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. Man. 
<laughs> this is one of the see here's the thing right I, I love the LGBT community but I'm not gonna lie that there's like a lot of fucking people that can't keep the shit out of it hence people that are trying to remove the B and the T and completely forgetting there's an A yeah well not I shouldn't say forgetting they're doing it on purpose but like yeah well, it's, it's, it's not one of the reasons why it's like what oh, is sorry, it? Oh, it's like Asexuality is not a sexuality because uh, uh, it's a lack of sexual attraction. It's like, okay. Then it is a sexuality. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a lack well, thereof I, means well, a separate category. I, well, I'm, I'm just like, okay, sure. I don't have to be a part of the LGBT. I mean, you're fucking trying to remove fucking the T because, oh, uh... Ped uh, pedophiles are not allowed in in the LGBT. Therefore, uh, th so shouldn't uh, trans people because trans people are not a sexuality. It's like okay, sure, fine, kick us out, whatever. At this point, I don't want to be a part of a community that thinks that that's okay. <laughs> like. It is one of the reasons why, like. I am not open about my relationships online. It's because I know that there's gonna be motherfuckers that are like, you're no longer bi, or, or whatever. It's like, fuck you, I'm gender fluid. I'm gay all the time, bitch. Speaking of being gay all the time, hi, Nezzy. Mm. Hello. Hi. But yeah, it's just people... Like, oh, you, if you're in a relationship, suddenly he's like, motherfucker, do you suddenly stop having crushes on people that you found? Do you stop have like, finding people attractive once you get hitched? Actually, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. God, I remember my dad. I don't remember who the actress was. I don't remember who they were. But my dad Identity. was, we, I, think, I think we were watching a movie with her in it, and he was like, you know, if she ever came up to me, I would leave you and your mother. And I was like, what the fuck, dad? It's like, oh, as if it's gonna happen. <laughs> I was like, it's not the fact that it's not gonna happen, it's the fact that you fucking said it. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> also, have I seen that video of that furry goat dude saying why we need racism? I've heard about it. I have not seen it, but I've heard about it. You cannot convince me that there wasn't some foot fetishism going on. Listen, I'm not saying... <laughs> you cannot convince me, and you never will. You are objectively I like, wrong. I like Listen, how I'm Avi not hasn't... Saying... I like how Avi has instilled this this ideology into our heads. Listen, I'm not gonna say <laughs> that everyone on DA me. is a. Listen, I'm not saying everyone on DA is a foot fetishist. I'm saying everyone with a foot fetish is on DeviantArt. By the way, Doodle, you know you can just get a vector layer and then erase those lines easily, right? No. Oh <laughs> There's a way for you to just slice lines off if you use a vector layer by line art. That's what I usually use. Um, this is, I don't mean to interrupt. I just uh, wanted to say that I'm actually gonna have to uh, get going. I'm uh, doing. I'm. Uh, I got some plans with my family today. Okay. So I just wanted to say to everyone that. Um, at a at a nice time during the stream. I hope you all have a nice day and take care. Bye. Goodbye. How oh. long have I been streaming for? Oh. Actually, is a good question. Oh shit! Um, almost two hours. Yeah, I was about to say. You usually do it around ten my time. And it's about twelve thirty. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead cut off the stream then, I guess. Later, guys. Goodbye.